Hey everybody, Barry here again. I got some parts coming. Here we go. Here's our 1X cam gear, three bolt, new crank gear, new adjuster, tensioner thing, or guide, whatever you wanna call it, and a new chain. This is the first time I've ever done this. So this is the only piece that I actually needed, but it all came in a kit. So, here we go. That is really, really exciting. Nice piece too. So, this is a Koi's piece. I got it through CarQuest here in Lewisport. And part number is here, 9-4205S. This is the 05 to 06, I think it's an LS2, out of a GTO. The only car that came with a front 1X cam sensor. Now to move my cam sensor from the rear, which is this style, the long one that used to go down through the block, touch cam, to the front, I need to use a front cover or front style cam sensor, which this is Gen 4, this is Gen 3, so the wiring is a little bit different. And we can see here that this is just a short pigtail that goes across the front cam cover or timing cover. And what it needs to do is cross the wiring over. So we can see our wire, this brown and white one, coming out of, say, position three up here. And it comes across and goes into the opposite side over here. And then we can see that right here is our red wire. It goes across and it's kind of dark, but we can see that it comes in this position right here. And our center wire just stays the same. So all I have to do is extend my cam sensor wiring from the back of the block way back here. Just cut it, put a piece of wire in, plug it into here, and we're done. I got another part come in. This is like Christmas. So here we go. This is gonna be my turbo drain. This is dash eight, which is a half inch-ish. I can't weld aluminum, I said before. So what I'm gonna do is drill a hole in this front cover in one of these flat spots here. I think probably this one, because that'll be farther away from the pump. And also, my balancer won't hit it. Let's grab it. So my balancer is going to sit pretty much like that. And that'll give me lots of room to have my thing here. So this is a bulkhead fitting here. Well, not actually, but I'm going to make it a bulkhead with this nut. And I'll grab another nut, drill a hole, pop that in there. And on the back side, it'll stick through. And I'll put another nut on. And all it's going to do is just drain oil from the bottom of the turbo via this hose barb here. I'll just clamp a hose onto this and we're good to go. I've always drained it into my valve cover. I've always drained it into the valve cover here because the turbo on the rat rod was like way up here. It was a, it was, well, it was this much higher than the valve cover. So I had no issue draining it because the hood on the rat rod is like a foot or a foot and a half higher than the engine. But of course we're in a van now. So we're gonna drain it into the timing cover. This is proven, it's been done, no issues at all. And it will drain right from this point directly into the front of the oil pan. I am gonna wait till I have the engine assembled before I go ahead and do this because I wanna make sure that my balancer is on, make sure I'm not gonna hit my oil pump or anything like that. And just make sure I have room. And 90 is gonna be sweet because it'll go pretty much parallel with the cover. And I'll be able to clock it whichever way I want like this to get away from the water pump and away from uh, whatever over here, like my coolant outlet and stuff like that. Got some parts laid out. Time to put some purple paint on this stuff. While I'm waiting for this stuff to dry, I'm gonna go install my cam gear. We can see here with our kit, we got a new crank gear. 
So let's go ahead and change this one out and put in our new one. It's way shinier. In order to change that, we need to press it or pull it off because it's pressed on. So we're gonna use a three call puller. Just because there's a big hole in the end of the crank snout here, and I don't wanna to have to run the puller right on in through, I'm gonna put just a bolt with a little plate on the end of it so we get a nice flat, even pressing surface so we're not gonna damage anything in here. Why this is giving me such a hard time, I do not know. But I had to go and take two different pullers and put a piece of one onto the piece of the other. And it's not gonna be quite straight, but let's see if we can get this off. Well, I couldn't really get it off, so I came up with half an idea that seems to be working. I'm just gonna hook the two of these in here and pry them apart enough to get it out far enough to get the pullers behind. It's not pressed on by very much, actually. It seems to have worked so far. Woo! Hey, 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 here we go. We have contact. For what should have been a five minute job, just turned into a 20 minute ordeal. That's nonsense. Make sure the crank is nice and clean. Line up with the key. There we are, bottom note. It was probably a way more correct way than smacking it on with the old one, but yeah, work. We can see right here that I have the crank at number one, top dead center. So that's a good start. Anytime I build an engine, I always like to default and set it up to top dead center. Open up our new chain. Look how pretty that is. Now we can align our cam with the crank. And you can see this dot right here. That will align perfectly with the dot that you can see right here. See if we can zoom in some. Here we go. So we need to line up our dot to dot like this. Okay, so you can see here that we're about a tooth off. So we'll just pull it off, rotate our cam a little bit. And now we can see that we're lined up. We'll just take it off and line up our cam with our dowel. And here we can see 
perfect alignment. This is exciting. Now I'll go ahead and torque down the cam bolts and then install our guides. I like using this impact because it makes things faster, but I never go down until it impacts or, or all good duggins because I don't want to damage anything. So just make sure it's seated and then we can go in with the ratchet and torque wrench. The specs on our three cam gear bolts is 26 foot pounds. Man, that looks really nice. Getting excited. This is soon gonna be ready to fire up. All I gotta do is finish painting the heads, bolt them on, push rods, rockers, throw an oil pan on it just so I can get it fired up. And this is just about ready to go. Well, I just went ahead and put a coat of clear on everything here. Block is done, of course. Just finished my third coat on the heads. You can see that it's still wet. And I got to show you this. This is kind of a trick that Craig showed me, my boss here. He said, stick all your bolts down into a box, leave them up a little bit, and just spray them. That'll stop the paint from getting on the tread, and you can still turn it around, and everything will be accessible, easy to paint. And then when you're done, just pull them out. So I painted these yesterday. They're all black, and they're all good to go. It's going to look really cool contrasted against purple. Everything's all clear-coated. I even clear coated the bolts because I lost my mind. This engine is going to be running very soon. So we're here at the shop and taking some rat rod parts out. Taking more rat rod parts, right? <laughs> it's obviously real dark here, but got to take the harness, PCM, I've got an intake manifold here, a couple sets of coils. Here's the turbo for when we're ready. Lots and lots of spare pistons. I also need to try and get down and under here and haul that starter off. So that's gonna go on our test bench. Alrighty, Chloe. We got the intake manifold, the harness, Starter, coil brackets is here. Kind of hard to see because everything looks the same. And a ton and, of wires. And a ton of wires. So hopefully tomorrow we're going to have the van engine fired up. Yay! And here's what's left. Just a skeletal remains of a ridiculous piece of machinery. So I got all the parts brought up to the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. And then in the next video, I am gonna assemble the engine, get ready to bolt the heads on, get the intake all bolted on, wiring done. That's another full video, just getting it ready. So hopefully the next one, it'll be running. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good day.